Now, I'm sure that when you guys go out in the town, I'm sure you like to dance. I bet you like to dance the night away. But my next story is about some people who actually dance themselves to death. In the year of 1518, a solitary woman stepped out on the streets of Strasbourg and without reason, she started to dance. And she danced, and she danced, and she danced. Days later, she was still dancing. A week passed, and now more than 100 people in the streets of Strasbourg were dancing, and they had no idea why. But they believed that the only way to overcome this strange urge to dance was to keep on dancing. And so great halls were emptied, and musicians with lots of musical instruments were brought in to help everyone keep dancing day and night. And it wasn't long before people literally started to dance themselves to death. Over a month later, the dancing curse had actually gone worse and it had increased to over 400 people. But by September, the dancing curse had seemed to ease and eventually it did die off. However, not without some fatal deaths. But what was the reason behind the strange urge to dance which took over the city of Strasbourg? Well, no one knows. It remains a mystery. Some people believe it was down to ergot poisoning, which may have been responsible for the Salem witch trials. Some people believe it may have been due to a cult, or maybe mass hysteria, or maybe simply down to superstition. But what we do know for certain is that people simply danced for no apparent reason, and they danced into the graves. And even after all this time, there isn't a real explanation as to why.